So I'm back to show you how my uh, Android app for these brain computer interfaces has progressed because uh, it's now already, I, it might be useful. And again, this was a starting point, uh, but um, don't have access to the raw data. That's why I, for comparison, the, the Muse uh, version one uh, is here now. Uh, here's a PCI Muse and I indeed, this was a Kickstarter and then uh, they uh, immediately um, were sold to a industry company and they shut the product, product down. There's no app on the store and no one can use this device. Uh, it's a two channel here with nice golden uh, contacts. And so, yes, uh, whoever owns such a Muse, he might be interested in my app. So here, the melon, uh, simply connect. And yeah, here comes the two channel dodger. And so here's a graph. Zero minutes. That's the third transformation. And here are the, these values. Uh, this ripple, uh, if you go back, to, then you see at 50 hertz uh, a, a peak. That's here in the Europe, the 50 hertz electricity everywhere. And this is mostly uh, when the contact is not perfect, uh, then is and I think really the what I've seen by now, I think this has a, the best um, raw data quality uh, because when you uh, average over five minutes, then uh, if you remember my previous videos, there was really pure noise if you do not average over 60 seconds. Yeah, but with this, uh, even if you do not uh, only average over 10 seconds, then it's um, not pure noise. So, could you see again, is it the right channel or uh, it's the right channel? So, if I now press a bit harder, you see then the um, 50 hertz is gone. That's a bit strange here. You cannot um, adjust it uh, perfectly. So, last night I put a sock uh, behind and then I got headache again. So, right now it's not really. Uh, very uh. okay here we are and you see if I blinking then there's pure and here's again uh, the, so this is the data so only if this I think it's below a 40 or 50 then a full transformation is really made and and these full transformations add up here down below uh, to the alpha beta data Ah, so right now data, yeah, okay. And, and so what's new here is a neurofeedback. You have some templates. So right now, it's just uh, here's a sleep template. That's from what I have um, seen by recording my, that uh, alpha was the most prominent and then beta a bit. And so the other three. Uh, and so yes, you can here change the, the, the the time of this section, so it's a two minutes. So and then it's simply um, okay. Here they are already, but let's remove them. So here that's the sleep. You press add, and then you can choose another template. That's the like sync, which has a higher beta, and you can make add the next two of these sections, and they repeat um, ever again. And so you can choose here, let's say, if you want a high theta and, and then auto mainly because it's always 100% uh, and or if you want high delta. And so you can here really um, choose according to <laughs> what these bands uh, um, correspond. Or as I said, um, I want to find a special mind state. So I'm simply recording and afterwards I look at the uh, alpha beta and see, uh, oh, this is might be what I'm trying to, uh, to achieve. And then I can um, here set these uh, bands to, to my neurofeedback. And yeah, then simply here, um, check neurofeedback and go back to the graph. Four minutes now sleep, ah. U83. And U83 that up, so it's closer. I mean, there could be some D5. D5, that's uh, um, I'm going the wrong direction. And so uh, there could, of course, be a nice bird singing or whatever you like, D -D. right? D. 
DD, that's a, a two times. Uh, so a D is, oh no, uh, you're drifting a bit away. A DD, you're drifting two, uh, even harder than D3, D45. D3. You, um, from the goal you're um, reaching. And it's also, yeah, it changes. So you see, if I average over five minutes, and we probably won't hear now any feedback because they change so slowly. Uh, over I think 10 seconds uh, that um, there is no feedback. If I go back to to 10 seconds, then um, so we will soon hear voices, uh, the voice again, because it's it's, it's right now I'm <laughs> D4. Yeah, so D4. Uh, so let's six um, five minutes 60 seconds. And here's also the warning. That's U3. Quite, quite nice. So if it's out of these bounds here uh, to the upper right, uh, so if the signal is not good enough, then you get a warning. Uh, like one uh, means uh, one channel one, uh, two, channel two. So if I, if I now make, uh, I think there should be. Uh, DD. That's still the neurofeedback. Uh, then there's a warning that you should adjust them. So, and, and if this um, signal is good again, then you see, uh, I think, a one go. That means another channel one is ready to go. And um, so if Six I. Six minutes now, think. Now, think so. U74. Every two minutes, you get a notification on which, which section you are, and then you can change your neurofeedback according to uh, if you're sleeping or thinking or meditating or whatever. Uh, so now um, when I, of course, start record, then it's set to zero. And um, here is wait recording because uh, the warning is on. And so he's still one go two go. I see. Uh, zero minutes now sleep. It was one go, two go, both channels ready. And then the recording started and I got the information, zero seconds, that was uh, the sleep or whatever. Uh, we here again have the 50 hertz. And so, okay, now I will. Try to sleep. One go, two go. You, you. You, you. Two minutes now, think. U7. Four minutes now, sleep. DD. Six minutes now think. Okay. Uh, of course, there has been a, a lot of fine tuning. Uh, and for now, the, my feedback is not the absolute value, but only if I'm moving. When it's saying, oh, you got moving the wrong direction or in the positive direction. D. But if, if it's you're just slowly changing, then it's not detected because there's a threshold. And so there might also be uh, some kind D. of feedback, for example, uh, the noise, uh, background noise, if uh, the windy, if it's going to be silent or windy, to show you that you are in the absolute value, you, if you are really close. Uh, but it's also here nice, so you have some idea what should be your mind state, and then if you are drift, drifting away from this state, then you get this feedback, so you can can come back. Uh, okay, now let's have a quick look. <laughs> Again, the 50 hertz <laughs> should have turned on Two. Off the power here. So stop recording. Two go. Um, yeah. One go. Stop the melon. And so let's see. Uh, the seven minutes. And let's go back to, yeah, that's here. The, 
You see, even as if you compare to the other uh, video, uh, 30, min min 30 minutes window with uh, uh, only averaging over 10 seconds, and there was pure noise. And here, you really uh, did have it still consisted. Let's see if we do not average, and it's still so. These are the two channels uh, separately painted. Uh, and also, what's nice here, this um, the noise is some some place there was high noise and some places uh, low noise. So this is again some information that you could um, your mind or well your muscles <laughs> or your 50 hertz or whatever. Uh, so let's go back to the average uh, five minutes because um, now here yeah so we started we are here. Uh, first two minutes that was i think the sleeping and i started uh, only a bit short uh, i think not right at the beginning and uh, then we were here two to four minutes um thinking that was mainly calculations in my mind and then in the end again uh, the, the shutting off your brain uh, so let's see if we can see something in here no now it's um, Okay, six minutes, so it's uh, or not the two minute segments. I should change this to, to sh really show the two. But here we can, um, does not really look like uh, the first two minutes are like the last, the four to six minutes. Uh, uh, but you might at least say, okay, we are going, and then uh, while thinking, I was a different state, and then I moved out again. Uh, <laughs> again, I, I do not really um, want to say. How really uh, <laughs> valuable uh, are these EEG brain devices? Just wanted to show you uh, that's here my, my ever growing app. So I have now two brain computer interfaces, uh, Melon and uh, the Muse. And I uh, just a few, <laughs> so I succeeded compiling uh, from this community SDK, which is on GitHub. At least it's compiling, it's running, and so I'm now charging it. So I might in even um, add the, the muse, and, and then I, again to uh, the script. But they did not answer my previous last comment where I, um, I had this uh, comparison with the muse and kindly asked for, for the SDK access. Uh, so now I'm going on with all the devices I, I have, yeah, and we have the. Again, here saved sec sections here. So now here's the last one uh, should be the one we just uh, recorded. U5. Uh, let's see. Eight uh, minutes now sleep. So, UU. Uh, D5. Zero minutes now sleep. U5. Uh, the neurofeedback is still on. D3. Um, okay, it's, uh, it's have to. But here you see the 50 hertz. So this is definitely uh, the, the thing we just uh, have seen. So you, you. the wave data, the, the, the upper lower limits have to be reset. And so um, let's uh, stop. Stop. Where can we stop? It's again. Uh, <laughs> I'm red. I could for hours and days. You see, whenever I change here uh, to the different fragment, then it's completely re um, destroyed everything. So all the buttons. You see, when I go uh, to to hear the melon, then there was again the connect button. And it's there should be a simple option. You see, if, if I um, uh, there's this option that when I um, or change the orientation, then uh, these uh, fragments are D -D. not uh, recreated. But uh, uh, if uh, you change within a drawer, then every time uh, all the data is, is deleted. And, and so it's it's so stupid. <laughs> and and the, the most uh, um, frustrating thing is that all you Linux believers, you are so... <laughs> fucked up with this stupid mindset of Linux and Android that you do not uh, no longer even uh, can notice that oh, well, how stupid all this is. And so yeah, I put in the comments uh, in my description below a link to a, a, a talk from Steve Jobs when he was fired from, from Apple and uh, began with his next step startup and it was really a, a very 
because uh, um, for me uh, already object oriented programming that was uh, last year uh, last century is uh, one of the most uh, important invention not the atomic bomb not the car but object oriented programming and this um, century will be oon object not oriented networking that's my <laughs> And it's already 20 years and still no one is uh, really going that way. But in this 90, in the 90s talk, he suddenly also uh, focused on object-oriented programming. <laughs> and so, yeah, you should, all you stupid Linux believers and Android uh, fanboys go and, and, and watch this talk from Steve Jobs. I don't like Apple at all. You see, that's why I always with these uh, stupid Android devices. And, uh, really, they they got with these rubber key base that got rid of the hardware keys, uh, and 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 so they got rid of of the back button and all, only. <laughs> I, but that's not really what Steve Jobs is talking about in this nice talk. Okay, again, I could upload this to um, the Android Play Store and all these uh, 200, 300. Don't know how many at, at this campaign. I got it on on eBay for for. Ah, uh, for thirty dollars because you see without such an app it's absolutely useless. But here now um, you could uh, do meditation, could design your own uh, neurofeedback um, settings, and, and so yeah. That's for today. Bye bye. <laughs>